This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training with how to use the Format Painter in Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. And the reason this is important is 40% or more of your time inside the Microsoft Office Suite, if you're not careful, can be spent manually reformatting the wheel. So you're just formatting objects over and over and over and over again. What the Format Painter allows us to do is go and find an object with the formatting we want, and we do not need to know how it's formatted, we can copy that formatting and paste it somewhere else. If we find another object and we don't know how it's formatted, we can still copy and paste its formatting and use it somewhere else within our documents. That's how this is going to cut down on manually reformatting the wheel inside the Microsoft Office Suite. In this video, if you want to jump around, we'll look at where the format painter is. There's actually two format painters. We'll then look at the single use and locked format painter, which is the same in all three programs, PowerPoint, Word, and Excel. We'll then look at my favorite, the Format Painter shortcuts, but those only work inside of PowerPoint and Word. If you do want to copy and paste formatting using keyboard shortcuts, I'll show you how to do that at the end when we look at copying and pasting formatting in Excel using the Paste Special dialog box. But first, if you want to support the channel and learn everything there is to know about PowerPoint, check out our PowerPoint Pro membership in the description box below. So let's first look at where is the format painter. And there's actually two different format painters. You have what I call the object format painter, which you can find on the home tab of PowerPoint, Word, and Excel. You're simply looking, all right, for this little paintbrush icon. In PowerPoint and Word, you also have what I call the text format painter. So once you select text, you'll see in this pop-up toolbar, you also get the format painter icon. If I come into PowerPoint, I'll show you exactly where they are if I select an object. I come to the home tab. You can see the paintbrush icon right here. This is the object level format painter. We'll look at how to lock it in just a second. Also here in PowerPoint or Word, if I come and select text in this pop-up menu, you're gonna get a whole bunch of options, including if you look at the paintbrush, that again is the format painter. Now, if I do flip over to Excel, here in Excel, I do wanna make the point if I click and select text. Here in this pop-up toolbar, I get a lot fewer options and no paintbrush icon. So if you are here in Excel and want to use the Format Painter, we can still use it by coming to the Home tab and clicking the Format Painter icon. And again, we'll look at how to lock that in just a second. So let's first look at how to use the single-use Format Painter and talk about the text formatting caveat that's going to affect how you use the Format Painter in PowerPoint, Word, and Excel. Here in PowerPoint, I have a grayed out graphic, but I have all of the formatting I want to use here on the left. So to start using the single use format painter, I'll simply select the object, which will copy all of the object and text formatting that's currently in here. I come to the home tab, I click the paintbrush icon, my cursor becomes a paintbrush, and I click the object I want to apply that formatting to. So in this way, I don't have to know how this is actually formatted to apply the format somewhere else in my document. If I want to keep going down the product line with the single use format painter, I need to continue to copy or click back and forth. So this is not the best format painter for what I'm trying to do here. Also notice if I copy an object's formatting, I can't click and drag to select it up the years. So it's only a single use in that you click it once, you apply it once, and the formatting is applied. Now the caveat that you need to be aware of here on the next slide, notice I have some white formatting, I have some underlined text, bold text, and I have non-bold text. If I copy this formatting, and this will apply to the single use, locked, and format painter shortcuts, and I apply that formatting, notice if I shift F5, that only the font formatting of the first character of text is copied and then applied to all of my other text. So the caveat here is when working with the format painter, all right, the caveat is only the first character of text formatting is going to be copied and that will then be applied to whatever font you apply it to elsewhere. So you'll just need to keep that in mind as you're copying and pasting the formatting of your text. Next, let's look at how to lock the Format Painter, which is going to allow us to copy and paste formatting to multiple objects in a row. Back here in PowerPoint, I again have a grayed out graphic with some different formatting I want to apply. So to use the locked Format Painter, I'll select the formatting I want to copy, Home tab. Instead of single clicking the Format Painter, if you look down below, it says to apply formatting to multiple places, double click it. That's what locking the Format Painter is, so I'll double click the Format Painter. My icon becomes a paintbrush, and this time I can click my way through this graphic and apply that dark teal formatting to all of my, my objects at once. When I'm done, I simply hit escape and my cursor becomes an arrow again. I then want to band the rows with the light teal, home tab, double click. So this is a lot faster than the single use format painter as it allows me to click through multiple objects at the same time. I'll do it one more time for the white banded part of the rows, home tab, double click, and I'll work my way through this object. So that's the object level formatting. I'll hit escape. 
If you just want to copy some text in PowerPoint or Word, you simply select the text. Here in the pop-up toolbar, you'll see the Format Painter. Simply double-click it again, we'll lock it. And then I can kind of click through my text and just apply the formatting. Whoops, I selected the object. Just apply the text formatting. But again, remember the caveat, it's only copying the formatting of the first character of text right there. If you want to select the object, double-click, click and drag to apply that formatting to multiple objects all at the same time without having to click them one by one by one, we'll have to use the Format Painter shortcuts. Next, let's look at one of my favorite sets of keyboard shortcuts, the Format Painter shortcuts, which is Control-Shift-C, so it's just like the copy shortcut, except you throw in the Shift key, we'll copy an object's formatting, Control shift v which again is the same as the paste shortcut you're just throwing in the shift key is going to paste an object's formatting just keep in mind this only works in powerpoint and word back here in powerpoint i again have my grayed out graphic with the formatting i want to use here on the left this time we're going to use Control shift c and Control shift v the format painter shortcuts to accomplish this a lot faster so the advantage is i can just select the object that i want to copy the formatting of Control shift c nothing appears to happen with my cursor but now if I go and select the products and the years, Control Shift V automatically applies that format. So you can see how much faster this is. I'll Control Shift C to copy my white formatting. I'll just Control Shift V to paste on all of my objects. Now to band the rows, I need this light teal color. I'll just Control Shift C to pick it up. I'll holding Shift, I'll select the first row. I'll select the second row, Control Shift V to paste the formatting. So the Format Painter shortcut works just like the Format Painter in that every time we copy Control shift c an object's formatting, it will remain there, Control shift v on our Format Painter, allowing us to paste that formatting elsewhere until we go Control shift c pick up a new object's formatting, at which point Control shift v that becomes the formatting that's sitting on our clipboard or on our Format Painter. So this allows us to Control shift c Control shift v copy and paste a bunch of formatting and keep it with us as we work our way through our documents. And lastly, let's look at how to copy and paste formatting inside Microsoft Excel. Again, the Format Painter shortcuts will not work, but we can accomplish the same task using Control-Alt-V, the Paste Special dialog box. Here in Microsoft Excel, I have a table that's properly formatted up top, and I wanna copy and paste that formatting down below. Again, we cannot select the range of cells. Control-Shift-C pings on my computer. Control-Shift-V pings on my computer. So here in Microsoft Excel, we need to select the range for the format we want to copy. We control C to copy. I have the shortcuts here on the right. We'll select the range we want to apply that formatting to, or we can simply click and that entire blocked range will be pasted in this blocked range. I'll hit control alt V for paste special. Here in the paste special dialog box, we have a number of different options. In this case, we just want to paste the formats. We don't want the formulas, the values, et cetera. We just want the formats and we don't want to skip blanks or transpose. I'll click OK, and you can see all of that formatting is copied and then properly applied down below. Now, if I control Z to undo that, if we just want to copy the gold um, font formatting of this, we can't just copy the formatting like we can in Word and PowerPoint. Instead, we'll just again, control C to copy. First, we'll have to paste control alt V for paste special again. We'll paste all of the formats only. All of the formatting, the lines, et cetera, will come in. We would then just need to remove the lines no borders, and then we would just remove any shape fill to the white or no fill like that to paste the font formatting only. So we're still copying all of the formatting, we're pasting it, and then we're just wiping it out using the table borders and the table fill colors here in Microsoft Excel. So that teaches you where the two different format painters are, how to use the single use format painter, how to lock the format painter, how to use the format painter shortcuts in PowerPoint and Word, and then how to use keyboard shortcuts to copy and paste formatting inside of Microsoft Excel. If you're new to the channel and want to keep up to date on our latest PowerPoint hacks, tips, and tricks, what I call PowerPoint hack trickery, make sure to subscribe here on YouTube. And if you're just looking for some PowerPoint resources to help get you to happy hour, like PDF cheat sheets and other free courses, check out the links in the description box below. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.